Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Recently I showcased a level that had these really weird block physics where enemies were moving strange, it seemed like some things were going in slow motion. I figured out how to do this for you guys as it was requested by tons of you. Here's a quick little level I made using this and I'll show you how to make this in the tutorial. As you can see the bullet bills and the cannonballs coming from the left side hitting right are going really slow, but the ones from the right were going really fast. That Goomba actually walked backwards for a second, and now we have a giant Goomba walking backwards. And now the two little Goombas are walking the same way, but facing different directions. So this is a really neat technique, and the best thing about it is it's fun to just kind of explore and come up with your own ideas, see how things interact with this setup. At the end of this video, I'll show you the level I made using this technique as well, and it actually came out really cool, and it's gotten a ton of stars. So you can definitely make a unique level with this, and it can be a lot of fun. All right, to start things off, we're gonna shake a spring, put it sideways right above where Mario starts. This will push Mario forward, which will get the bill blasters behind him. We'll put some blocks to make sure no one can cheat out of there. Next, we'll drag the goal all the way to the end as far as it'll go, and we'll start a track at the beginning and drag it all the way across to the flagpole goal. Once you get your track in place, we'll go back to the start of the level. Now we'll place down some platforms that we'll put on the track. We'll want to put these all the way across this first screen like so. Once you have seven down, we'll go ahead and put an eighth, ninth one, tenth one, and eleventh one. Eleven should be plenty. This will get everything started. Now we're going to put an ice block down right at the end of that platform. And then we're going to copy it and drag it two spaces over and paste it. We're going to do this over and over again. So grab one and copy it, move it two spaces over and paste it. We'll do this over and over again until we get to the very end. Once we set up the auto scrolling on this, all these blocks will actually end up lining up and it'll make a solid ground. Before we do that, we need to tap every block to make sure it's heading to the right. If the arrow is going to the left, you'll need to tap it. We definitely want all these going the same direction. Once we get all those set up, we're gonna turn the auto scroll on to rabbit speed. Now we have everything in place, let's test it to make sure everything looks correct. These platforms will help cover up the track, and at this point is when the ice blocks will start lining up perfectly. If you do them before that, there'll be gaps in them, so you really have to make sure you start them that far over. You can get rid of the platforms if you'd like. Now we're going to drop some bullet bills and cannonballs down behind Mario at the start of the level. Put them up nice and high here. Test it out. And ours landed perfectly on the end of the platform, which is great. That way they'll follow through the rest of the level. Now we'll just start to experiment. We'll put a cannonball on one of the ice blocks here. We'll put a bullet bill, a cannonball, and another bullet bill over here. Just place a spring here. And just keep testing the level and see what happens. As you can see, Mario can run really fast under the bullet bills, but they're still moving slow. The ones that come from the right are moving very fast. Our spring's kind of glitching over there a little bit. This the idea of this setup, is just to have fun, try different things. Conveyor belts work great. Now once we get to where the conveyor belt was, we'll see some new things happen here. So here comes our cannonball shooting at Mario. Once they hit that conveyor belt, they'll start moving on their own. We know it's there and why it's doing it, but people playing your level might not notice the conveyor belt. It definitely will trip some players up. One thing to remember is that the ice blocks pretty much act as your ground. So if you want to set up a power up or something like this, just pretend that where the blocks are, it's solid ground there. We'll go ahead and put a pipe down for the heck of it. Everything lines up great. Next, we'll go ahead and put some Goombas down on some ice blocks kind of randomly. We'll give one a super mushroom. And we'll go ahead and put some more conveyor belts down. Randomly placing conveyor belts is when you really discover some cool mechanics and some strange things will happen. So we're just gonna randomly place some fast conveyor belts and some regular speed conveyor belts, place some different directions. Now when we test out our level, we have our little power up section. Nice to give the player a power up when they're gonna be dealing with something new they're not used to. And there we go, cannonball. Bullet Bill, get over to the launcher. It starts to move on its own. Now as Mario runs over, you notice there are all kinds of weird physics where Mario won't run where you want him to. We got backwards walking Goombas. All kinds of cool things happen as you try this out. And just remember, just to experiment, try different items and see how they go. Have fun with it. All right, now we're gonna check out the level I made using this technique. It's called Baby Mario's Nightmare. Let's start it up. 
took a little bit of a different approach, but used the main idea here. We start as Baby Mario, one of the best amiibo costumes. He's just really funny. I like that he cries when you hit up. I covered the entire ground with blocks to help cover up the tracks. We have the bullet bills following us throughout the level. We have this bullet bill firing giant chain chomps at us, which also bounce off the bill blasters to the left and come back towards Mario. Put a lot of coins to help guide him through. Since everything on the track is blocking the lava, I decided to make some pits here with spikes and mushrooms, just to give baby Mario something he could fall into to get damaged. Once we get through here, is when we'll start seeing some of the weird physics. We have these jittery Goombas here that also stop in place, kind of moonwalk across. And here we have a buzzy beetle that drops down and just kind of spins in place. More jittery Goombas, one that's just kind of stuck against the pipe there. I also made an alternate challenge to try to collect all the coins. Here we have a Bowser Jr. battle that can be a little bit tricky if you don't kill him quick enough. We have the bullet bill still coming at us. The buzzy beetle shell took out the bottom one, which gives us a place to run under. The only way to kill Bowser Jr. is to jump on him three times or to get him to get crushed on the far right side. We got lucky and he kills himself there. And then the chain chomps back. You have to go in the door before he kills you. Once you do that, you can enter the pipe and get the 100 coins and the one up at the top of the flagpole to score two one ups and then you enter the little castle at the end. This is the idea I came up with using this, but you can get more complex and as crazy as you want. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial will help you guys out with making some weird block physics levels. Till next time, I'll see you around.